first home was to be evacuated many, many years. It's a com compiled uni uh, unit that the house is just rubbish. I woke up and my neighbor said, Regina, there's a fire, you get out of the house. I thought it was dreaming. When I smelled the smoke, by the time I came out, the flames were too big. Unfortunate. But everybody was rescued except their things. Within this community, like even just working across the street, coming down this driveway every day, there, there's a lot of trash that's always been in front of that house the past couple of the years. Um, it's unfortunately known by the community in here kind of as a hoarder house, to be completely honest. But um, just because there's always trash out front it, and it just collects, the, the city was out here I think about a year ago and really cleaned it up, got it nice looking, and then just over the course of the last year, um, progressed and got worse again. The house, usually people that is um, um, homeless go there, go there, and sometimes I see a couple of them that was doing drugs over there, so probably that's what happened. They were doing drugs and using fire and caught the house on fire. No. Um, last year, like about four or five times, I called the fire department because it was on fire. Somebody set fire and they come and put the fire out and nothing happens. So it's a hoarder house. It was back then and you know, when I first moved there, the, it was on the news. It was a hoarder house and that people was going in there, the homeless was going in there and they put it on the news but they just never did anything about it until this happened. Well, we called how many times there was fire last, last year, four times and nobody did anything about it. And now it came to this, where the other house is now, the next door property is about fire. Does the amount of trash in the house affect the, the put out time? In the house? There's so much yes, stuff because you can't hit it from distance, right? You have to go up to it. You have to clear what's over it and get to the deep-seated fire, which is burning underneath. So you're gonna have to remove the top layers, which are extinguished, and then get to what's still burning or even smoldering at the time because there really isn't that much in the way of flames at the moment but you could remove something oxygen gets introduced and then you could have a you know rekindle or something a small one and then they'll have to extinguish that